Hi, and welcome to Little Bits HQ. My name is Crystal, and I'm going to introduce you to the Little Bits Premium Kit from our Exploration series. If you didn't already know, Little Bits is an expanding library of electronic modules that snap together with magnets. You can take those modules and combine them with craft materials, building sets, and other toys to electrify your life. I'll show you how to use the 14 modules in the kit, as well as exciting project ideas that are in the booklet. When you open the box, you'll first find this booklet. It tells you all about the modules, projects, and other resources. You'll notice right away that the modules come in different colors. They are grouped into four different categories. Little bits snap together with magnets. The magnets are always right and you can't put them together the wrong way. The first module you see here is power. All power modules are blue. This module connects to a 9 volt battery to supply electricity to your little bit circuit. It's connected to a long LED or light emitting diode, which is one of our many light modules. The long LED is the green output module. All green modules do something. They light up, they buzz, they move. You can place a pink input module before your green modules to control them. The roller switch has a little lever with the wheel and activates when something presses it. You can also flip the mode switch to make it turn off whenever the lever is pushed in. You'll find this switch in your refrigerator. The pulse is like an electronic heartbeat. It sends out a stream of short on signals and you can adjust the rate using the mini screwdriver. The fan is exactly what it sounds like, a small electric fan. It's great for projects, especially creating movements with air or spinning motions. The pressure sensor is a touch activated module. Give it a little squeeze to activate it. The more pressure you apply, the more current it sends out. The vibration motor is similar to the device that makes your cell phone buzz. Use it to create motion or sound. The vibe snap helps you connect to different materials. We'll show you how to use it later. The sound trigger senses the noise level in your room and sends an on signal when it gets over a certain level. You can make that threshold louder or softer using the included screwdriver. The servo motor is a controllable motor that can swing back and forth in two different modes. It's perfect for robotic arms. In turn mode, the input from other modules determines the position of the arm. In swing mode, the servo will move back and forth on its own and the input controls how fast it goes. The other module you see here is a slide dimmer. Use the slide dimmer by moving the slider from one end to the other to see how it affects the modules that follow. The branch gives you more options for connecting your modules. It lets you connect the output of one single module into as many as three others. You'll notice it is an orange module. All orange modules help you expand your reach and change direction. The wire allows you to physically separate your modules. Try it whenever you need to break up your circuit chain. So those are all of the modules that you'll find in the premium kit. Now for some tips and tricks. You'll notice on the vibration motor, there's something called a vibe snap. This allows you to easily attach materials to your motor. I'll show you how. Take something light like a piece of tissue paper or a piece of paper and poke a hole in it. Then go ahead and place the hole over the snap and then press the other side of the vibe snap on. You should hear a click. Now go ahead and attach a power module to your vibration motor and you'll see that the tissue paper shakes around on the motor and you don't have to worry about it falling off. Another great thing you can do with the vibration motor is use it for sound. Take something like a jingle bell, widen one of the parts 
Go ahead and place your vibration motor inside. And now, when you attach it to a power, guess what happens? It's the perfect sound for any alarm or music project that you're making. So my next tip is about one of my favorite bits, the long LED. You'll see that the long LED is tethered so that you can bend it into any shape that you need. What I think it's best for is making googly eyes. So if you take a styrofoam ball, go ahead and draw an eyeball on it, poke the long LED through, now you have the perfect eye for your next creature project. For more tips and tricks like these, go online. You can make tons of exciting projects using the premium kit. Let me show you a few. We're gonna start off with a circuit called the back massager. So all you need for this is a pressure sensor, a pulse, a wire, and a vibration motor. The way that this works is every time you press the pressure sensor, the vibration motor will start pulsing at a speed that you set with the screwdriver. Experiment and try attaching different materials to the vibration motor to see what will work best for your next massage. The next project I'm going to show you is one of my favorites. It's called the Box Monster. This is really easy to make. All you have to do is take a, take a box that you have at home, paint it, cut it in half, so you can make this puppet shape. The way this one works There's a vibration motor on his tongue that we attached using the vibe snap. There's long LEDs in the eyeball, and there's a roller switch in his mouth to control how everything turns on and off. If you're looking for more inspiration, go online to find these project ideas, like the auto greeter, the bristle bot, and this hypnotizing wheel. Better yet, make your own project and share it with the community. That's it for the Premium Kit. Be sure to check us out on Facebook and Twitter. If you have any questions, email us. Now go make something. You are feeling very creative. <laughs>